What's good YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you everything that I know about the Banky 400 Hertz monitor. First of all, I wanted to be fully transparent with you guys. Banky has sent me this monitor, so yeah, I got it for free. I'm not getting paid for the ad or anything, I just got the monitor and they have no influence over what I will be saying in this video. They won't be even checking that video. So I wanted to clear this out and let's go with the video. So let me first talk to you what's so special about this monitor and what's the difference between this and the older version, which was 360 Hertz. So first of all, the difference between this monitor and the 360 Hertz one is the colors. The other one had problems with yellow from what I remember, but you could easily fix the yellow color on the 360 Hertz monitor by changing the ICC profile taken from rtings.com. But this monitor on the food has much better colors in the 360 Hertz variant and has the new Diac 2. So Diac is basically a technology that makes the targets more visible on your screen whenever you are in a fast motion. So imagine not that you're swiping really quickly from left to right and when you have your Diac on, the enemies will be visible much better. So the example that I always give is a jet dash, right? So whenever you're dashing with jet, the enemies will be less visible, will be a little bit blurry, as you can see, right? So during a fast motion, the enemies are less visible than when you're just going like this, tracking the enemies. And this is what Diag helps. Or usually when you're doing fast motions, when you're clearing angles and stuff like that, then that's when Diag works. So there is something that I need to talk about and Diag and its latency. So when you have your Diag enabled, your input latency will be a little bit higher, but as a trade-off, you'll get much more clear image of your enemies while doing fast motions. Which in games like Valorant, when you're clearing angles, when you're dashing, when there's a lot of abilities and stuff going on, I think it's very useful. So Diag is definitely an option that has been used by a lot of CS, Valorant, Fortnite pros. But I have to mention that because the latency guys will kill me for that. It adds a little bit of input delay and it makes your screen a little bit darker. Some people like the Diac technology, some people don't, but I personally find it very useful in games like Valorant, and I personally use it. But there is a way to make Diac even stronger. What I'm gonna show you guys is there is an app from Blurbusters, which is called a strobe utility. So I'm gonna open it, and I'm gonna show you how it works exactly. Diac 2 basically makes those UFO targets much more visible whenever I'm tracking them with my eyes. So for example, if I'm looking at my crosser in the middle of the screen, I can see them blurry, but the moment I track them, it looks much more clear. So let me show you how to actually crack Diac up and how to get even clearer image. So first of all, I'm gonna enable Blurbuster reduction adjustments, and then I'm gonna put the slider fully to the left on both settings. This makes it extremely visible whenever I track it, but it puts your monitor to a much lower brightness. But whenever I go into the game and I do fast motions, then I can immediately tell that whenever I'm moving around my screen, that there is no blur. It's like the blur is fully reduced to almost zero, I would say, you know, it's never gonna be zero with 400 Hertz. So back in the day, you might have seen a few videos of pros talking about 360 Hertz, 240 monitors, 500 Hertz monitors, and about the motion blur, that the game is too smooth, and whenever you're doing fast motions, you can't really tell what's happening on the monitor. So whenever you put the black storming settings to the maximum, this is where Diac actually shines in my opinion. So yeah, Diac Premium, of course, it's less blurry, it's more visible than the normal Diac of 400 Hertz. But I would say if you crank this up, you're gonna get a great benefit of clarity. And you can immediately tell that there is practically no motion blur. Of course there is, but it's much more visible than what it was before, which I find really interesting. And some people even get headaches from playing on high motion blur. So for those people, Diac is definitely worth it. So this was basically how Diac works. And let me now show you how to create custom resolutions on this monitor. This is for people that wanna play stretch on this monitor, right? So first of all, we have the black storbing. Once I'm gonna turn it off, it's gonna get safe. So you don't have to have it open, the black storbing utility. But for people that wanna have cool stretch resolutions that look great and have the lowest input delay, this is how you create a resolution. So first of all, close your game and let me now teach you how to create it. 
So first things first, you'll need custom resolution utility. Links for everything will be in my description. So you have to just download it, unzip it, and you should have a folder like this. So this is something that you should be able to see. You should be able to see custom resolution utility, then open custom resolution utility, and that's how it should look for you. So now on the left side, you want to delete established resolutions, then here it leads standard resolutions, then go to CTA blocks, go to edit, delete our resolutions here, delete all TV resolutions, and you should be left with display ID 1.3. So if you actually go play some resolutions, it might happen that you're actually on 360 Hertz instead of 400, because the monitor will scale the resolution incorrectly. So to fix that, we're gonna go to these detailed resolutions, and then you want to delete all of them, except for our 1920 by 1080, 400 hertz. Then you want to click edit, then copy it, then click OK, click add, paste, then select exact reduced. And here you want to add all of the resolutions that you wanted. So for example, I'm gonna add a bunch of resolutions, like a stretched for Valorant, so 1280 by 882. Then I'm gonna add 1280 by 960. And then I'm gonna click OK, click OK, click OK. And here I'm gonna go to custom resolution utility and click restart 64. So yeah, once you've done that, your monitor should restart and you should be able to see your screen. If you don't see your screen, press F8 on your keyboard. That means you've done something incorrectly. And to check your resolution, you wanna right click on your monitor, then go to the NVIDIA control panel. Or if you're an AMD, then you can just switch it in the display settings then go put it on your desired resolution that you wanted to test. I'm gonna click apply, then click yes. And now you should be able to right click on your monitor, then go to display settings, then go down till you find advanced display. And then you should be able to see both resolution being the same. So 1280 by 960 and active signal resolution 1280 by 960, 400 Hertz. Now, if you have two resolutions that are the same, but you get black bars on your monitor, don't worry. You now have to go to your BenQ monitor settings and change it there. I'm gonna bring you on my phone and I'm gonna show you how to change it. So let's say your display looks something like this and now I'm gonna teach you how to fix that. So you have to go to your menu panel, then click on it again, then go to display, then go to display mode, then go put it on full, then click confirm. And now you should be able to see your monitor stretched and another thing about custom resolution utility, now once you're in your NVIDIA control panel, go to adjust desktop size and position, and you can put it on no scaling, then click apply. And now you should still be able to see your monitor being stretched because we're not scaling it through the NVIDIA control panel, we're scaling it using your monitor scaler. By using this method, you should be able to make your cursor look much nicer and avoid having a dark overlay around your cursor on stretch resolutions. I know there has been a lot of problems in VCT MEA with that, and they allowed pro players to create their resolutions via custom resolution utility. So this is the method. So now I'm gonna take you guys with me and I'm gonna show you what settings I use for the best motion clarity. So let me be honest with you guys. These settings are not gonna be the best in terms of your, your millisecond input latency, but this is gonna give me the clearest image in Valorant. So if you're looking for the lowest input latency while having a lot of motion blur, go try another settings without Diac. But these settings will give you the best motion clarity so you can see your enemies at all times, no matter how fast your movement is or how fast you swipe your mouse. Let's go to menu, then go to color. Uh, on black equalizer, I have it at 20. Then color vibrance is gonna be a full preference is the same thing as digital vibrance in your NVIDIA control panel. So I have it at 14 to 17 when I feel that I need some saturation, then blue light on zero, then gamma I have it on one because I'm using my bl blur buster strobe utility. Then for color temperature, I have it at normal. Then picture, Diac 2, it's on high, but don't actually worry. We're using it through black buster strobe utility. So that's why it doesn't matter. Brightness, you don't wanna change it here as well because it will be impacted by your Blur Buster Strobe Utility. Contrast, I have it at 50. Sharpness, I have it at 10. And AMA. This is the setting that's called Overdrive. 
I don't have any stats backing it up, but I would go either high or I would go premium. Then for display, you only want to change display mode and set it to full, so you always have it stre stretched. And then for RGB range, you want to have it on RGB from 0 to 255. Then for custom, it's not really important. Then eco setting, you want to have it on off. Headphones, it doesn't really matter. And the other settings, auto power off, I have it on off. Deep sleep, I have it on on. And that's basically it so yeah guys let me know if you agree with me let me know what you think about this monitor if you have one and let me know if i should make another video for 600 hertz or 540 hertz bank you because i know a lot of valorant players have it so i might be able to help you more with your settings so yeah guys don't forget to subscribe to like the video to comment the video let me know what you think and make sure you check all of the links in the description take care